Hey everyone, and welcome to part three of building a music server. So in part one, we picked out all the parts we're gonna use for this project. And we went with the Synology enclosure for the NAS and the specially built NAS hard drive made by Seagate called Ironclad. In part two, we went through the setup process. We installed a hard drive into the case. We set up the onboard software that's installed on the Synology NAS. And then we installed the Plex Media Server, did an update on the software, and did the configuration as far as all the different parts to it to make it work. So now we're at the point where we need to add all the music files to the server so we can start serving them up to other devices. And that's what we're gonna accomplish in this video. So now that we're back at the computer, now it's time to get into the server. So you wanna take that link that you created, that quick connect link, and drop it into your browser and then it's gonna try to connect. Then it's gonna come up to the screen to ask you to log in. So I'm gonna log in with my admin. And from this point, what you wanna do is go into File Station. So in File Station, you're gonna see Home, Music, Photo, Plex. Plex is where you wanna go. So you wanna click on the Plex. And in Library, you wanna click on Library. On the Library tab, over here, you're gonna see Application Support. So you wanna create a folder in here called Music. Now, there's two ways to do it. You can use the drop-down menu, create the folder, or you can use the right-click to create a folder whichever is easier for you. So once you do that, you wanna name the folder. So we're gonna name this music because that's all we're gonna have in this folder. So right now in the library folder, you should have application support and a folder called music. So you wanna double click on music to open it up. So right here is where you're gonna add all the music that's on your computer. Now over here to the right, I have some music in just this one folder. Now I'm not just gonna dump all the music over here because I want a little organization, but that's not required. You know, if you don't wanna do it, that's fine. So what I'm gonna do is create a folder and I'm gonna call this one country. And then I'm gonna create another folder called hip hop. Then I'm gonna create another folder called gospel. And let's create another folder called R and B. So, so far, as you can see, I have these five folders created. So right now I'm gonna open up my country folder and then I will go to my computer and then I'm gonna find a folder over here that I know is country, which Alan Jackson is. And then I'm gonna drag it over and drop it. At this point, I'm gonna click override. And then it's gonna start uploading. And now I have Alan Jackson transfer over to my Plex server. So let's do another one. We got Billy Currington. So let's drag this one over, drop it, overwrite. And now we have two artists inside the country music folder. So now let's put some music in the gospel folder. As the file upload, you have this little percentage bar to let you know how much percentage of that folder is already transferred. Okay, so now let's do a recap. What we did in the beginning, so you know we're at home. Then we had to move down to the Plex server tab down here, click open, which took us into the library. We created another folder called music. And in that music folder, I created some extra folders just to put things in different categories for my sake. So I created a country, a gospel, hip hop, R&B, reggae. And to create those folders, you can click the tab right here and create a folder or right click create folder. Then you want to open up the folder that you want to drag the music into by clicking on the tab and then find the music on your computer and drag it over and then it's going to copy over to the server. And then that's it. Your part is done on this end. Okay, so now that we got some songs in the music library and you can come back and add more songs later on. Right now, what we're going to do is close out the file station and then we're going to go into the package center. We want to click on the installed. Then we're going to open the Plex media server which is gonna take you over to the web version of the Plex server. So now that we're over here, we can see all the recent stuff that's been added. The next thing we can do is go over to the music tab on our library. So now at this point, we can see that everything got transferred over. So we're good to go. Okay, so if you add anything else from this point on, I think normally it should refresh itself, but if it doesn't, then you can force refresh it. In order to get it to show up, you have to go into settings come all the way down to libraries, and then what you wanna do is scan library files. And once you do that, you can go back to home, and then there it is right there. There is the recently added. See, it says Jelly Water Rhythm, which is matching up with this right here in this folder. So now we can access it on our phone, TV, and other places. But as you can see, you see the album art is missing. It's just a regular black screen. 
So in order to add that in, you want to click on the little pencil in the left corner, and then you want to click on poster. And then you want to choose image. And I already have the image that I found on the internet, so I'm just going to drop it in there. So there it is. There's the image that I found. And you can Google these images because these album arts are all over the internet. All you got to do is just go into Google, type in the name of the album and put album art at the end and then you'll find it and then just save it to your computer. I'm going to choose that one and then there it is. Then you want to click save and then there it is. Now it's available. So that's how you add the album art if you upload something and it's coming up with that little black screen because you need the album art. It looks better than just having a black square box. Okay so now you know how to add music to your music server and how to update it on your Plex server account and how to add album arts if the album arts are missing. Now it's time to move over to my mobile phone so I can show you how to access those songs using the Plex app. So the first thing you want to do is go over to the Play Store and then you want to look for Plex. Once you find the Plex app, you want to do the install. After the install is completed, you want to click open and then you can sign in in three ways. You got your continue with Google or you continue with Facebook or you can continue with your Plex account. I'm going to choose my Plex account. So now I'm going to type in my credentials so I can sign in. And now it's signing me into my account that I already have set up previously from video two. So as you can see, it comes up and it instantly showed me all my recently added music. It's got some recommended podcasts. It's got some web shows and some headline news. Now, if I don't want all this extra stuff beyond my music to show up on the screen, I can go into more and then I can go into edit. And then once I go into here, I can uncheck the stuff that I don't want. So I don't want to see photos, podcasts, web show, news, show, movies, or live TV DVR. So I'm just going to cut off all that stuff for now. But I can always come back in and change this stuff. So I'm done. So now that I went back to home, as you can see, it's still showing the podcast. So I can go here to these three tabs and say remove from home screen. And click here, remove from home screen, here, remove from home screen. And now all I have is just music. So now when I go into the app, all I'm going to see is my music and that's what I want. So once I click on the music icon at the bottom, I can go into artists, albums or playlists. So let's go into albums. And as you can see, it's pulling up all my albums that I had uploaded to the server. So right now I can hit play and it's just going to start playing from the first album to the last album that's in my library. Or I can hit the shuffle button up top and it's going to shuffle the songs all the songs that's in my library right now. There's a down arrow in a circle beside the shuffle icon means that I can actually download these songs to my phone. So if I'm going on a plane and I'm gonna be offline, I can download the songs to my phone so I can continue listening to them because they're my music so I can download them for free. And then I can reorder the, the way I see the music in a grid or a list. So that's how easy it is to just get into the app and start playing. Okay, so now that we got it set up on your mobile device, let's move over to the Fire TV so you can see how you can stream it to your Fire TV devices. Okay, so now that we're on the Fire TV, we're gonna add the Plex so we can access those music just like we did on the mobile device. So you wanna search for Plex by going to search and just type it out. And as soon as it shows up, you just click on it, download it to your device. Once it complete downloading, you wanna click open it's going to come up to the screen and you want to sign in. Then once you come up to this screen right here, it's telling you to sign in. You need to go to that website. Then once you do that on your mobile device or your computer, it doesn't matter where you go to on the link. You just want to do it from a web browser. Then you're going to see that it's loading up. So now it's connecting my Fire Stick to my account. And then I can customize the way I want these things to happen. So since I'm only doing music and playlists, I'm going to deselect this one. I don't need a podcast, the web show or the title. Now, even though I unchecked these right here, I can always come back in and check them again, just in the settings of the app. So I click continue. So you see all the songs are showing up just like it was on my mobile device. So if I want to play this right here, I can click it, click play. And then as you can see with the nice little album art and the title of the track and the artist and everything. So that's why I, I'm telling you, you need to add the album arts to these things because it looks a whole lot better than just having a little black screen on the left side. Okay, so right here you're on the home tab, but if you want to see more, you can push to the left and you can go to the music tab. 
the music tab is going to give you more detail so you can see all you can sort by the artist album tracks all the different ways you can sort and this is what I have so far and I'm just getting started so I can just imagine what it's going to look like when I get all my music into this library so now your fire stick is ready to go you can start streaming that music and then when you add and update stuff it's going to automatically show up here so you don't have to do anything else as far as here but to just open the app and start streaming your music through your TV. So now let's move over to your Amazon Echo device app so we can add that skill to your account so you can start streaming your music through your Echo devices. Okay, so to give your Amazon Echo devices access to your Plex server, what you wanna do is go to the Amazon Echo app. Once you get into the app, you wanna go over to the three lines to the left, which you're gonna give you access to the skills and games. You wanna search for Plex. Once you find the Plex skill, you want to click on that one and then you want to enable to use. You're going to link it to your account. So now that the skill is enabled, I can go to my Amazon Echo devices and ask her to play music from my Plex server. Now with the Echo Show or the Echo Show 5, there's no way to navigate the Plex app like you can do on your smartphone or the Fire TV. So the only way to play songs from your Plex server is using commands. So there you have it. You can access your Plex server from your desktop, your smartphone, your tablet, your Fire Stick, even your Echo devices, even if you're just using voice command. And by turning on that remote access feature on your Plex server, now you can access all of this music outside your home. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video. I hope it was helpful. There's a series of this video. This is part three. So if you're ever looking for a way to build a server where you can serve up your music and your images and stuff like that while you're not at home or to other devices inside your home, then Plex Media Server is the way to go. All right, so if you have any questions, go in and leave it in the comments and I will help you out as best as I can or point you in the right direction. And in the future, I'll probably make some smaller videos just pointing out some of the features of the Plex or some things you can do as far as setting up this old interface. All right, so thanks for taking the time for watching this video. I look forward to see you next time. Have a good one.